Hello friends, in today's question, a child is standing with folded hands at the center of a platform rotating about its central axis. The kinetic energy of the system is K. The child now stretches his arm so that the moment of inertia of the system doubles. The kinetic energy of the system now is. In this case, in the first part, the child is having a folded hands and its kinetic energy is given as K. So we know that the kinetic energy for a rotating system, kinetic energy for a rotating system is given as half i omega square. So let us say where i is the moment of inertia and we say that initial moment of inertia is given as i and initial angular velocity is given as omega i. So the initial kinetic energy is given as k. So we can say that initial kinetic energy is given as k. So that will be equal to half moment of inertia initial angular velocity initial. Okay. So let us call this equation number 1. Now, in the second case, the child stretches his arm. Child stretches his arm. The moment inertia doubles. Moment of inertia doubles. So in this case, let us say that final moment of inertia is given as IF and this IF will be now equal to twice of I and let us say that final angular velocity is given as omega f. So we can use the conservation, angular conservation. Okay. So before that, we can say that, okay, let us use the conservation, angular co momentum conservation. So we can say conservation of angular momentum initial will be equal to angle momentum final so therefore i initial is equal to i final sorry I final and omega final their product and I final is given as twice of I so we can substitute it here so we get this as twice of I multiply by omega F and I as well as I cancels out so we can say that angular frequency final will be equal to angular uh, angular velocity initial divided by 2. Now, we are given that the initial kinetic energy is given, we already calculated initial kinetic energy by equation 1. Now, we can find out the final kinetic energy. We can say final kinetic energy. Let us suppose that it is given as Kf 
so this will be equal to half moment of inertia final multiply by angular velocity final and its square now we substitute value of moment of inertia final as well as angular velocity final in terms of initial so you can say kf is equal to get half this will be twice of initial and this will be half of the initial and its whole square this can be written as half we get initial multiply by final uh, initial moment of inertia multiply by angular velocity initial square and this will be equal to 2 divided by 4 now using equation second uh, first using equation first we get now this is nothing give uh, we found out that this is nothing but k so we can say kinetic energy final is equal to this cancels out by 2 becomes as 2 so this is our final kinetic energy this is final kinetic energy now if we check the options option number b is the correct option As you can see option b is correct option so this completes the question thank you